Hey everyone, welcome back to our episode of EV Exclusive. My name is Steven Kovic and we are in London in the United Kingdom. And this is our view from the terrace of the penthouse we're about to check out. This is the London Eye, one of the most iconic landmarks in London. And we have a front row seat. So you know this apartment tour is going to be epic. This is a 17 million pound apartment. So for our Canadian audience, that's about $25.8 million, which is wild. So this apartment has uh, four bedrooms, four bathrooms, is 3,862 square feet. So we got a lot of house to see. And I want to give a special shout out to Engel Volkers London for allowing us access to this incredible property. So I'm way too excited. So we got to get this tour started, guys. Let's go. Okay, so now that we can get this tour actually started, I do want to mention that this entryway is absolutely beautiful. A few things that I love is that you have this beautiful textured wallpaper on both sides, which makes it feel very warm and inviting. Also, like you're in a very high-end um, hotel lobby, which I also love. So I want to give you guys a few key things really quickly. So behind me is the entertainment hub of the home, the dining and the living, which is my favorite part. Uh, behind us over here, we have um, some of the bedrooms and the en-suites over there. And then we have access to the entire floor um, from your apartment. So you have two entrances. We just came through one and there's another one over the principal bedroom, which I will show you guys later. But let's just get to the fun stuff. So this is one of my favorite living rooms that we've ever featured on this channel. And let me tell you guys why. So on top of having so much natural light, floor to ceiling windows and four and a half uh, meters of ceiling height, which just makes the place feel very, very large, is this incredible view. I don't think we've ever highlighted a view like this. So we are facing the London Eye, which is an iconic landmark in London. And fun fact, Nina would be proud of me because she always shares the fun facts. This was actually built in 1999 for the millennium. And this is Jubilee Park right here. So every year they do fireworks for New Year's Eve and you would have front row seats if you lived right here. You could just have a glass of wine, hang out and see all the beauty of the fireworks happening that day. So as you move through the space, you have a very large living room, as you can see. Um, lots of natural light, you have a beautiful gas fireplace as well. I do love that they added this mirrored um, effect all across um, the fireplace because it helps bounce off all the light and makes the space feel very large um, on top of how large it actually is. So behind me over here is a bookshelf, as you can see, with this beautiful ladder attached to it as well. Being someone that's six foot seven, I feel like I don't need the ladder, but I definitely appreciate the touch and it slides across the entire shelving unit. Now this place is entirely uh, designed by Goddard Little Fair. So this place comes furnished as well and they've done such an amazing job in this space. And this just carries you on right into the dining room, which is another favorite part of mine. So let's go see that. So this dining room is designed for entertaining. The entire penthouse actually is, but a few things that I really love about this space are the flow um, from the living room to the dining room. So it's very open concept. You have the kitchen right there, so it's very accessible if you are entertaining guests that the food is not very far away. And right now this beautiful marble dining table fits about 10 people. We can probably fit 12 in here and you would have a beautiful dinner party here. And I'm already thinking of like a Christmas dinner if I come back to London that I can host here because it would be very, very beautiful. But I do want to show you guys. So I mentioned earlier that the home is kind of divided into two sides. So we're going to go to this side first, which is where the principal bedroom is, one of the other bedrooms as well. And the views and the stunning home does not stop there. This principal bedroom does not disappoint. It's one of my favorite bedrooms we've also ever featured on this channel. I said that about the living room and I mean it about the principal bedroom too. We have these amazing four and a half meter ceilings, which is the same from the living room. But a few other things I really love is the tranquil and relaxing feel that this bedroom has, which is something you'd expect in a penthouse like this, but the details and the coloring are very relaxing. And I would definitely be very happy waking up here and with this view, but I will show you guys the terrace as well. So 
So the principal bedroom has its own terrace. I've never seen a terrace quite like this one. I mean, this is your view. You have the London Eye. You can even see Big Ben from over here as clear as day, which is also incredible. And then you have Jubilee Park over here as well, right under you. So if you had, you know, want to walk the dog, you want to take the kids out, whatever it was, you can do all of that right here. You're in one of the most iconic places in London and to have the accessibility to two landmarks and a beautiful park, I mean, this is one incredible penthouse. I want to keep showing you guys though, we're going to go to the ensuite because it's also beautiful. Now on to the walk-in closet. And what I love about this walk-in closet is you have so much storage and they've done such a good job of integrating all of the compartments and the shelves and all of that. You open this up and this lights up automatically, which I think is a very nice touch in the space here. And it's in all the cupboards. And then you have this feature, this detailing as well. We have the wood and then a, sort of a leather inlet into the cupboard as well. And then behind me is the ensuite, which you would expect nothing less to be as luxurious as this. So a very large ensuite. You have this beautiful white marble throughout the space. It's in the counters, it's in the sink, on the flooring. And then you have this gray marble detailing on the floor and over here. I love the details through the marble and the sink as well. And as someone that is six foot seven, I do appreciate a raised sink. You know, your back doesn't really have to bend that much, but then you have this, um, you know, place for storage as well. So you can fit all of your personal belongings that you need for your bathroom. You have the two sinks as well, which is very convenient for both people. And then we have the frosted glass here, which is where your shower is and you have your water closet as well. And it's all separate. And then we have this, beautiful tub where you can fit all the candles and I'm envisioning like a beautiful bath experience in here and you get literally that and you have these features of the lighting built throughout the marble as well that adds to that ambiance that you'd expect in a home like this so 10 out of 10 for this bathroom now we have this beautiful hallway that takes us to the second bedroom. So a few things I love about the hallway is you have this textured wallpaper throughout and they've integrated that with the cupboards as well. So they almost kind of are hidden, but you notice that they're there. And then we have one of the uh, bathrooms over here as well. So that's kind of connects the home. And then I mentioned earlier that there's two entrances to the penthouse. So we saw one earlier, we came through that door and there's another one right over here as well. So you have two access points into the home, which is kind of convenient. The second bedroom definitely feels like a primary bedroom to me. It's probably because you have your own walk-in closet and your own ensuite, which are also very luxurious, might I add. Uh, a few things in the space I really love is the textures and the colors. I love that you have this beautiful custom chandelier as well. Like we mentioned, the place does come furnished, so you do get that too. I think it adds lots of great lighting and it's just kind of an art piece hanging above your bed. Lots of natural light. We have floor to ceilings windows in here as well. The calming colors and the beautiful textures all really add to that high-end luxury uh, experience that you're getting in a home like this. So behind me is the ensuite and uh, the walk-in closet, both very similar to the primary bedroom as well. You have that white marble with the contrast of the gray marble, very luxurious. You have your own walk-in closet as well with the same sort of conveniences with all the storage and the automatic lighting as well. I do wanna show you guys the kitchen and the prep kitchen as well because there's still more home to see on the other wing of the house. So we gotta go check that out. So now onto the kitchen, and I do want to point out that we have these beautiful ebony makacha doors, which are throughout the entire home, which you might have noticed already, but they add this really high-end luxury touch to the space, which I love. Okay, so we're in this incredible chef's kitchen, might I add. Um, so everything in here is Gaggana appliances. I love the integration with the dishwasher over here. Very convenient. I love this lighter colored marble on the counters as well, really adds that warmth and texture to the space. We have this waterfall edge over here as well. And this is your island. This is the hub of your home. And this is where I would envision you're like, you know, having friends over, you're feeding your family, whatever it is. This is where all the energy is happening in the morning. Um, we have a little bit of um, a bar fridge over here. So put some cocktails and stuff if you need to. Again, so much storage ample room for everything. You have your cutlery storage over here as well. Everything is very meticulously organized, which I always appreciate. Um, I love this dual sort of matte metallic um, finish on the upper cabinets. Really adds a level of luxury. I've never actually seen this finish on cabinets before. And then we have this induction stove, beautiful oven. Everything, like I said, is Gaggana, which is very, very beautiful. And then behind me is your some other appliances as well. So we have our espresso machine, which I think I would definitely be using a lot. We have our toaster oven over here. 
open that up. Very nice. And then we have a plate warmer, which I don't think I've actually seen before, but you open this up and it just heats up your plate. I imagine, you know, you put your food there and it just kind of keeps everything the right temperature before you have everyone at the table. We have this beautiful um, wine fridge as well, so you can keep everything temperature controlled. And then if you did not want to see these items, you can just close this up and everything is fully hidden and integrated. And I love that for me, as someone that is very OCD about a few things, I would love that. And on this side, this is where your breakfast nook is. And I think this would be one of the most beautiful places to ever have breakfast because again, the view, we can't ignore the view of the London Eye. I mean, it just, it's the whole point about living in a space like this. And they have a seating nook on this side, which I would imagine you would have a nice cup of coffee here, reading a book. For me, sometimes maybe like scrolling on my phone. And then again, you have access to the beautiful terrace. As we go through this space, so now we're gonna check out the production kitchen, which is just behind the chef's kitchen. The prep kitchen over here has some incredible details that I love. I love that they've kept everything very consistent. So the marble top, the cabinetry over here as well. And what I love about these kitchens is you can kind of hide the mess in here and still cook full meals and then have the main kitchen kind of clean and ready for guests. So I think this would be great for holidays or if you're entertaining a very large party or anything like that. These are very convenient and I think that they've done a very beautiful job in here. So I wanna go into the rest of the home as well. So we still have a few more bedrooms to see and a study as well. So on this side, we're heading into the study and also the second bedroom. So this beautiful hallway, again, the consistency and the details here with the wallpaper and everything makes it feel very luxe in this space. So the second bedroom does not have its own walk-in closet or its own ensuite, but you have lots of storage with Julia balcony as well and a really fair sized bedroom with lots of natural light. On this side, you actually have the bathroom over here with this black tiling over here, a little bit different from the other bathrooms that we've seen in the space, but very accessible to the bedroom. And then we have the study over here, which is a very beautiful place to do some work at. What I love about this room is that you can easily reconvert it back into a fourth bedroom. But as of right now, you can keep it as a beautiful place to do work, study, whatever it is. What I love that they've done here in particular in terms of design is they've made it very separate from the rest of the home, but somehow still cohesive. We have this darker gray textured wallpaper. We have darker, richer woods on the desk over here with this built-in cabinet as well, where you can put all your books and your personal decor and belongings all over there with these gold little accents, which I think looks great. You also have your own um, closet as well. Again, if you were to reconvert into a fourth bedroom and with this beautiful um, dark, burgundy sort of maroon um, velvet chair, which I think would be great if you had poured a little bit of a drink, hung out, sit, unwinded. Um, this would probably be, be me bothering my partner, being, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> this also could be a beautiful nursery if you ever needed to, but beyond that, it can be a great, great study. And this is a beautiful place to get some work done. So I definitely give this place an A+. This pretty much wraps up our 17 million pound penthouse tour in London in the United Kingdom, a very first EV exclusive in Europe, which is so exciting. And we love doing these videos for you guys. So you never know. We want to do more videos across the world. So you never know where we might be next. But thank you guys so much for watching. You know what to do to like, comment, subscribe. A special shout out to Engel & Volker's London for allowing us access to this incredible property. We will link information below to the property and to the real estate agents and the EV London office as well, all down below. But this is so bittersweet. I'm so sad that this is over. So we will see you guys at the next video. Peace. <laughs> well, so we still have a few more bedrooms to see and a study as well. So let's go check that out. Oh, imagine being... <laughs>